Hey everybody and welcome to Chairman of the Board. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to play a very simple but brilliant uh, filler card game. It's a set collection game and a pushy luck game called Coloretto. Now on this game you are trying to collect sets of these lizards. Um, the set collection kind of works like this. So at the end of the game you're going to get points for um, the number of lizards you have of the same colour. So for example if I had four orange ones I'd get 10 points or five blue ones I'd get 15 points and you'd add them up but you're only scoring for three different chameleons uh, any more than you have than that are going to count as minus points using the same scoring criteria but let's show you how you play it first so first of all I'm going to take this kind of game end card and put it um, above 16 different cards or 16 cards that are taken from the deck and this kind of just just shows when the game is going to end so I've done that already uh, I shuffle the cards and I've put them in the uh, in the deck so when that card shows, it will be the last round of the game. Okay, so um, I've also given players two cards each. So I've set up for a two-player game here. And uh, so everyone starts with two, um, two different chameleons. So this player's got an orange one and a red one. This one's got a purple one and an orange one. And I've also set up for a two-player game here. So I will say the two-player game is a very, very slight variation, but the game plays exactly the same. So basically, in a two-player game, you start with these cards. So you've got this, what, this kind of one column here that can hold one card, this one here that can hold two cards, and this one here that can hold three cards. If you were to play with more players than that, then you'd use these cards here, which basically means, obviously, you've got the four columns now, or even five columns, and um, they, all hold, they all hold three cards each, sorry. Um, also, additionally, because I've um, set up for two players, two colours have been taken out. Just tighten the game up. Okay, so all you're going to do on a player's turn is you are going to either draw from the deck and put it on a column, or you are going to basically take from a column. So let's say it's players one go, they draw a card. Okay, so he, this player, he really wants oranges. Um, so he can either put it here in the one column, the two column, or the three column. So let's say he puts it in the, in the two column. So he's chosen to put a card out, so he can't choose to take that out. So it goes on to the next player. So the next player draws a card. Oh, and it's a plus two. Now this is a pure two points at the end of the game. So that's really good. So thinking wise, he's really not going to want to put it here, is he? Because he's going to be giving um, the other player an orange card. Or in fact, he wants an orange card as well. But um, obviously if he puts it there, then the other player is going to snap it up. So he might choose to put it here um, in thinking that he, this is kind of a good backup for both players should they want to go there. So that's this player's turn done. So the next player draws a card and it's a purple. Now again, this player wants a purple. So being putting it here would be absolutely stupid because the other player is just going to grab it straight away. So he's going to put it on this third column here. So back to the second player. So the second player draws a yellow. Um, and drawing a yellow card, he is going to put it here. And back to the first player. Now the first player can either, again, he can choose to draw a new card or choose to um, or choose to take one of the existing rows. So he's going to go again and draw another card. And again, he's not going to want to put it in this third row because then the other player is going to get two yellow cards and a purple card, which will suit him really well. Because remember, he is trying to collect three different colors. So he hasn't decided on his third color yet. So choosing this one would be a really good deal. So he's going to put it on this row here. And then finally, the, um, the second player is going to draw again. And he has drawn another yellow card, which actually gives his rival player um, a bit of a conundrum. Because if he takes this column here, he's going to get a purple and two yellows. He's obviously got an orange and a red already. So he's already going to be at minus points. So to fall back on that, he is going to take this column here. And he's got his third color and he's got his second yellow card. So now there's no other spots. So this spot's now exhausted. You can't use that. Um, so this other, this other two columns are just free for the takings. So he will grab this one here. So he's got two yellow cards and a purple card for end game scoring. So that's a particularly good round for this player. And basically the column that isn't taken is discarded. And that's basically how the game works. It's going to just keep going until the end card, end card comes up. I will say there's some other cards in here that... Um, spice the game up a bit too. So you've got these chameleon cards. They are basically wild, so they're, they're very, very lucrative. And you've also got these golden chameleons here, which not only counts as a wild, 
but it will also make you or force you to draw another card off the top of the deck, which can obviously be good or bad. Okay, so I thought I'd just show you a quick example of end game scoring. So say a player ends up with these cards by the end of the game, so he's going to score as so. So he's, first he's going to select three different comedians that he's going to score. So he's going to score this column, this column, and this column, or these three colours I should say. And he's not going to score the blue one. So he is going to choose the yellow, so that's going to be, he's got two yellow cards, so he has got three points. And then he's got five purple cards, which is going to be 15 points, but he's also collected this wild card. So he adds that to that column, which means it pushes that score up to 21 points. And then he's got the red ones here, which he's got three of those, so that's going to be six points. And finally, he's got one odd blue one, which is going to be minus one point. And then he's got these, uh, these row kind of plus twos, which is going to be an additional plus four points. So all in all, he's going to get, let's say, three, uh, up to 24, up to um, 30 points, take away one to 29, and then plus four up to 33. And that is going to be his end game score. So that's how the scoring works. Um, yeah, Colorado, a fantastic filler game, one that really should be a staple of everyone's collection because it's just so compact, so small, and the decision space is actually really, really good and fun. So that's Colorado, one that I highly recommend.